Okay, but hear me out. Friend has end. Boyfriend has end. Girlfriend has end. Best friend has end. Believe has lie. Lover has over. Next has ex. Life has if. But, but, Daichi. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Daichi is love. Daichi is life. I'm too big brained for y'all. Okay, but now that you brought up Daichi, I guess we can talk about him. I will rank my favorite parts of him. Number one, thighs. Why? Well, simply because he could take his thick thighs and strangle me with them. Absolutely annihilate me. Send me to heaven. Resurrect me. Then use his thighs to fucking break each and every bone in my body and then use his thighs to grind my skull into a fine dust. Collect the dust and through the heating up of it, make glass. Then he could shape and morph it into something beautiful to which he sells for a hefty price. And then upon realizing what a great business choice this is, goes back to my probably deceased body and repeat the process of grinding with his thighs and heating with the rest of my bones and then start a business. Oh what's this? The business takes off. Within months his business had lifted up off the ground and Daichi would soon become a millionaire. However as exciting as that life was, he was missing something. Me. So he tracks down all the glass pieces made up of my bones and using the power of his thighs. He once again reverse avada cadaverous me and at the end of it, I will still thank him. Get on my knees and give him the gawk gawk 9000 because that's what that man deserves. Number 2. His dick. Conversations ain't long, but you know what is. Okay, so we all remember that one science lesson that Kuru gave us that none of us cared about but didn't say anything about it because Kenma threatened us because he liked seeing Kuru being excited about what he was saying. Yeah? Well, he said that scientifically humans are like 70% water or some shit, right? You're probably wondering where the fuck are you going with this sugar? Well, you see. The earth is also like mostly water right? So I propose um theory. Thought perhaps. Food for the mind. An icebreaker if you will. A conversation started even. If humans are mostly water, why is the earth not considered mostly human? Ha. Huh. Bet you didn't think of that Mr. Science spelt wrong man. Sugar proceeding to spell science wrong until he finally spells it right. Thanks autocorrect babes. Because if the earth is mostly water like humans, then wouldn't earth also by default also be mostly human. Yet you on that one for a while piece of shits. I'm just joking. None of y'all are piece of shits. I love y'all. Especially Daichi. Okay but how fucking weird are teeth? Like they're literally exposed bone. You. But like also do teeth have a flavor? Like do my teeth taste different to yours? If they do. Then that means someone in history slash the future would have the nicest flavor of teeth and someone would have the worst. And they'd never know. Oh my god. That's so sad. They'll never know. They could go their whole lives thinking that they'll never be the best. But they are and they don't know. Sad Sugora hours. Daichi can I taste your teeth for like scientific purposes of course. Wait. Instead of asking someone if you can kiss them. We should ask them if you can taste their teeth. Lmeo, that would be so funny. Hey Daichi, flirty sugar. Wanna, let me taste your teeth I'll let you taste mine too. And then you could let my mouth taste other things. Extremely flirty sugar. I think I'm horny. Really no shit sugar. No. Do I have a teeth fetish? Daichi, I think I have a teeth fetish. I'm going to cry. Daichi, I don't want a teeth fetish. Daichi, help me. I'm an odontophiliac. I'm so sorry. I'll understand if you break up with me and you all decide to cut ties with me. No wonder coach puts me on the bench. I'll just let myself out goodbye. Whoa. I had the best night. I feel refreshed as fuck. Sugora then back reads what he texted the previous night. Okay I'm. Regarding what I have texted. I think I need to apologize. Number 1. I am not a cringy 14 year old who is fake deep but I do stand by my Daichi is love. Daichi is life. I do, however, appreciate everyone Daichis and non Daichis alike, and everything in life. Daichi, as amazing as your thighs and dick are, those are not the only things I like about you and I understand how that could be a little unclear by my texts. I am in fact in love with all of you and I could never ask for a better boyfriend. Next, Kiru. Pretend I did not say anything about your Kenma and I just want to make it clear that we do all enjoy your science lessons.
Not just because of Kenma's threats but because we enjoy having an educational but fun time in our chats and we love hearing you talk about your science stuff. Smiling through the pain sugar. I do stand by my queries about the earth being mostly human and about the flavor of teeth. However, I do apologize about me kink shaming people who have a dentophilia. All kinks are valid and as long as they are explored in a consensual, legal and safe manner, I do not see a problem. I apologize for asking, and I quote to taste your teeth. Daichi, that was rather unprofessional and quite forward of me and I should have respected your boundaries, and I do want to clarify that I do not have a teeth kink. I only have a Daichi kink. More flirty sugar mayo. But um yes, I sincerely apologize for my behavior. Good morning to you too baby. Daichi just being the best partner ever mayo. He probably appreciated the things sugar said. Um. Ken Ken. I love you so much. Like I cannot put it into words how much I love you. Kiru being head over heels in love with Kenma but who wouldn't be. I love you too. Kiro. He'll listen to you talk science anytime any day. Kenma also being very madly in love with Kiru because I don't know where the fuck people got the idea that Kenma was a toxic piece of shit to Kiru when he actually loves him so much. Kiru just being soft. Okay but the way that Sugar genuinely spoke only facts. Sugar knowing that he did. Of course I did Kora. I think I'm going to have nightmares about a fleshy earth. Sad Lev. You deserve it for being overgrown. Hinata being the the number one provider of Lev slander. Hinata. Lev being extra sad. Hinata once again enjoying Lev slander. Lmeo. I won't do this again. Literally the next day. Okay but unlike anyone who offers a service just inherently corrupt. Like a policeman obviously hopes you commit a crime. Or like a doctor hopes you get sick. Even like a glass cleaner hopes your windows are dirty. Like what the fuck. Are there any good people on this godforsaken earth? The answer to that is yes. One person. Daichi. 